generally when I'm deciding um, on an open task or a rich problem, the first starting point is the curriculum documents because you go look there and you can see where the students need to be. So first I go there to see where the students need to be and then I look at where they are right now. And then to me it's like a series of steps. So I have to think of what step do I need to move them up and it's uh, so each lesson would be a step. So it's like a series of steps, they're right here, so they're gonna go to this step and then this step to this step. So then I'm thinking, okay, of the of the con of the number of lessons that I would have to do to get them to where the curriculum expectations are for their knowledge and your skills and their math process and all that stuff. Then I start thinking about the task and then I refer to textbooks to give me an idea. Um, you know, there's a number of math resources that as teachers we can go to that we can look at to give us an idea. And then I, I'm fortunate enough, I can bounce ideas off my colleague, you know, do you think this will work? Is this task too easy? Will the grade fives be able to get it? Will there, will there be a number of strategies that come from the task? Because what you don't want, so the emphasis in my class when they're doing math is that there is sometimes one right answer, but there is never one right way. So that you can approach it from a number of different ways. And you saw that today, like students were using a whole host of different strategies to get to the answer. So then I think of that, and then I also think of the groups that they're in. I've designed the task task and I think that they can achieve it, that I'm going to get a number of different results. And then I think of the groups that they're in. Are they going to be able to talk? Are they going to be able to communicate? Will some students be inhibited? So sometimes you put students that are, um, you want them to be mixed ability, but not so far apart that one student does all the work. So, and you also want to mix up the students that you don't have all talkers in one group. So you want some talkers and some students that are effective listeners and students that can lead the team and make sure that everyone's included.